Aloha, and welcome to another two-minute teaching tip by BYU Hawaii Center for Learning and Teaching. Today, we're going to talk about using Proctorio for your final exams. Now, at the end of the semester, you might be thinking about exam security and our testing centers closed at the end of winter semester. So how can you um, administer your final exams in somewhat of a more secure testing environment? Proctorio could be one solution to that problem. And that's an uh, add-on to Canvas that you can attach to your quizzes that you give in Canvas. So I'm going to show you how to um, use that a little bit today. Um, let's take a look. The first thing you have to do is in your Canvas course, you have to, oh, I got to get down there. Um, you have to, you have to install it. Um, so you come to this left-hand menu over here, come down to settings at the bottom of the menu, click on that. And then in the top menu bar here, there's this navigation toolbar. Usually it comes up on course details, but now you click on navigation and you'll come down here to the bottom and down here in this list, actually, you can see mine has it right here, Secure Exam Proctor, Proctorio up here. But you grab it from here and you drag Proctorio up to the top and you drop it. Um, I'm going to bring that back because I don't want that in this course. And then you press save at the bottom. And once you do that, um, you can't see what's happening here. But over, up here in this menu somewhere, you're going to have Proctorio will be listed there. And you click on that and that's going to take you to a page on Proctorio where it will ask you to download um, a um, an app for Google Chrome. One important thing, Proctorio only works in Google Chrome. That is the only browser it will work in. So it won't work in any other browser. It has to be Chrome. So you'll be taking that page, you'll install, you'll install the um, add-on to Canvas, and then you'll come back here. And then once it's installed, you'll notice that on this menu on the left-hand side, that Proctorio button will disappear. It won't be in that menu anymore. But once that's happened, um, you should have it installed. Now, let's take a look at the next step. Um, I've talked to several people who have had have been using Proctorio quite successfully, several faculty members. Um, ask around in your faculty. You might have people, too, in your faculty that have used it well, and they can give you some great advice for using it in addition to what I'm going to tell you today. Um, but one piece of advice that was excellent before using Proctorio and giving it a real live test that um, matters to you, you want to give your students a practice test with it. So I've set up here a Proctorio test quiz. Um, and I'm just going to edit this and I'm going to show you how you would set up your own test. And we're going to do that with this practice quiz. So you can set up a practice quiz exactly like mine that they take first. And then after they successfully do that, then you could administer your actual final exam using Proctorio to help um, with, with test security and that. Okay, so let's take a look what I've got here. Um, so I've put Proctorio quiz. I've got um, a learning goal set up. I've got some directions here. Um, and I want to emphasize this here. You should plan to take 20 to 30 minutes for this test. Um, so good advice I got was tell students to add some extra time in as they're planning to take a test because the, the, on the front end, Proctorio takes some time to create the test environment before they're actually allowed into the test. Um, and then I've added some other bullet points here, which I just want to emphasize briefly. Um, the biggest problem that other faculty members have had, well, other students have had that faculty members have run into is students don't read the directions carefully. So you have to um, you have to emphasize that they have to follow the directions and read them carefully. That's number one. Number two, Proctorio is going to set a password for them. And they and some students might be asking you for the password. You don't have the password to give them, but Proctorio will insert that password in the process as they're going in the right place. So Proctorio is going to control that password. So if they ask you for it, you just tell them, keep going. You don't have the password. Proctorio manages that. Um, and then the last thing is you have to make sure you have a consistent internet connection because if if their um, internet connection is faulty and it skips out, they're going to get kicked out of the test and you'll have to reset it for them. So those are three of the biggest tips that I got um, from some faculty on giving this. Okay, so once, once you've got some directions set up, um, I'm setting up this preview Proctorio survey as a graded survey. So that way they get points just for taking the survey. And there's two questions. I'll show you the questions in just a minute. Um, they have, you have to put a time limit on when you use Proctorio. I've set 30 minutes, which is plenty of time for these two minutes. Um, and then down here, if, if you've installed Proctorio correctly, you're going to have this button in your Canvas spot. And it says enable Proctorio secure exam Proctor. So you click on that and see it's, it automatically is going to say required access code, Proctorio manages this. They're going to take care of that. Um, 
And then you can, after you turn that button on, you can come up here and you're going to have this menu at the top of your um, assign of your um, exam, your quiz. And so you can click on this and you can start putting some settings in. Um, and you can choose any of these record video, record video, record audio, record the screen. This will show you everything that they're showing on their screen. You can record the room. When they do this, what happens is, um, so yeah, there's intelligent scan, record room off. So what happens is the student will pick their computer up and they're gonna scan the room so that you can see it um, from their, um, record web traffic. If you wanna know that they're visiting other websites, that will help you. Um, I think the, the people that I've talked to just turn all these buttons on. Um, and then there's other lockdown options. You can choose um, how to lock down the computers um, and then some verification options, right? And then it'll ask you for, um, Somewhere when you're setting these up, it'll ask you for the um, like a recommended setting, or you can make it really strict, or you can you can make it a little bit lenient, whatever you want to do. So then, um, actually, I'm just going to save this, and I'm going to show you the two questions that I put on this preview survey here really quickly, um, and I'm going to preview it. There's two questions. One is how much time did it take you um, from the time you began working? So setting up Proctorio and everything till you got to this question, how much time did it take you? So then you can see by looking at these quiz preview Proctorio quiz results, you can see how long it's taking your students to get into Proctorio. And then number two, what problems do you anticipate when using Proctorio for your for our final exam? So this is a reflection question on the students to evaluate the whole system, right? What problems am I going to um, think I'm going to run into? And you get to see their answers to anticipate any problems. So that's the preview quiz. And you can run that with your students before you get to the final exam. Then um, once you get to the final exam, you this is this is a, a quiz that I've used in my class. Um, you um, you can proctor it, and I'm going to show you some of the back end settings. Um, actually, oh, let me scroll down here, and I'm going to show you um, down at the bottom. Where's the end of that quiz? There. Okay, so you'll be able to see this view proctorio gradebook. So when you click on that. After the students take the quiz, you can click on this, and this is going to show you the, the security information from Proctorio. Now, I'm not going to show you the whole thing, and I've done a limited sample just to preserve the student's identity. Usually, right here in this video screen, you can press play, um, and it's going to play a video from their webcam of them taking the test. You, all, you can also get audio from it, so you can, hear, you can hear anything in the background. You can click on this timeline to drag like any parts that you want to. Um, these little red markers, um, let me go back here. Um, the red markers here, these are points in the video feed that Proctorio has um, indicated there might be a problem. The teachers that I've talked to, the faculty members that I've talked to have said that usually um, there isn't an issue because students know that Proctorio is watching them, but this will bring up anything that you might want to see and just look into. Um, so you can check that. Um, and then and then after that, then then that's how you proctor the test. So that is a really fast introduction. So after they do the um, practice exam, you put your real exam in. They all have to take it. Um, in Google Chrome. One last thing with Google Chrome, if you have students in China, China does not have access to Google. So this is going to be a problem. Although I talked to another faculty member that thinks um, she might be able to figure out a workaround. So if you're interested in that, um, give me a call, contact me um, in the Center for Learning and Teaching. If you want to contact us, here's our information, um, Jared, Neil, and I, and we'd love to talk to you and help you set up your exams. Aloha and happy teaching.